Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for my brand new Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days. I know I said I was originally going to stream this, but I discovered a way to make editing 3DS games go quicker, and I figured I might as well give it a shot. So, here we are. Um, for people who have not played Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days, or just plain brand new to the Kingdom Hearts series, Small number, I'm sure, but hey, they probably still exist. Um, brief reminder, well, not reminder, just notice, the game we're about to play, Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days, has a bit of a complicated slot in the Kingdom Hearts timeline. Oh, and I should probably do that so no, nothing happens. I mean, I don't think there's an intro it's going to loop through, but anyway. So, the first game in the series, which I haven't let's played yet, is technically Birth by Sleep. But we're going to ignore that for now. Because that was a game that came out after this and I'm doing these in chronological order. But anyway, so the first uh, the first series you should watch on my channel if you're going to get introduced to Kingdom Hearts is Kingdom Hearts 1. Then you could technically start watching this near the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. Like around where we get to Hollow Bastion at a certain crucial point in the story there. I'm not going to say which one, to avoid spoilers again for the people who have not seen Kingdom Hearts 1. That's where this story begins. Then it goes through Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and ends just before Kingdom Hearts 2. With that out of the way, let's get started. I'll just do standard mode. Maybe I'll do a stream, like, on my YouTube channel or Twitch where I, uh, do it on Proud, but... Heartless, mindlessly collecting hearts. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free. Until they weave together to make Kingdom Hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally... Exist. I'm really Nonsense. hoping this song isn't copyright. I mean, I don't feel my heart inside me, but I know I have one. I mean, if I could touch my wrist, I'd feel it. The pulse, I mean. Mm, anyway. Number one, Zemnis. Organization 13's leader. Through power over nothing, he seeks power over everything. Weapon, Ethereal Blades. I'll be putting my titles over those little slides on the bottom. Number two, Zigbar, founding member. He keeps an ear to the ground and a finger on the trigger. Manipulates space, weapons, arrow guns. Number three, Zaldin. Founding member, a warrior with a silver tongue. He carries six lances and can harness the wind. Weapon, lances. Wish they'd give me more time to read those, but whatever. Number four, Vexen, founding member, a brilliant scientist with dominion over ice and a personality to match, weapon shield. Five, Lexius, founding member, tremendously strong but surprisingly quiet, stalwart as the earth itself, weapon axe sword, or tomahawk. Number six, Zexion. Founding member, an intellectual with no room for feelings. He can create illusions at will. His weapon, the Lexicon. Number seven, Syax. Second in command, who longs for the heart he does not have. Only the moon breaks his icy calm. Weapon, Claymore. Number 8, Axel, an assassin who puts his own agenda first and everything on the back burner, wields fire, weapon chakrams. Number 9, Demyx, prefers to kick back with his sitar and leave the dirty work to the water under his command, weapon sitar. 
Number 10, Luxord. Life to him is just a game to be won, and he has all the time in the world to do it. Weapon. Cards. Hey, it's the Pretty Pink Flower, the organization. Marluxia, number 11. In the arc of his scythe, flowers grow and all else perishes. His face hides ugly motives. Weapon scythe. Oh look, it's a bitch. Number 12, Larxene. Wields sharp knives and a sharper tongue. Her lightning strikes as quick as her temper. Weapon knives. Number 13. A, a boy newly aware of himself. His light shines bright and brief as the setting sun. Keyblade. Man, I miss the old times. You still got it memorized. The day we met when you got your new name, you and I sat right here just like the sunset. Kingdom Hearts 358 slash two days. Almost a year. Day 255. Why the sun sets red. kind of uh, fell back a bit or the screen did anyway you gotta figure everything starts someplace the closest thing for me is when I was just seven days old and I met her To the past! Day 7, number 14. I remember this place, it takes me back. Or is it forward? Well, considering I played that game first before this one, forward for me. And him, actually. Those events haven't happened yet. Whoops. Gee, thanks. I couldn't figure out how to move and talk to people on my own. Thank God for this tutorial. Okay. 
Well, he showed me talking to Syak, so I'll talk to him first. Today is an important meeting. I expect everyone to be on time. Hey, Aroxis. Chatty, isn't he? Something I can help you with there, Chatterbox? Ha! <laughs> My thoughts exactly! Ah, I remember now. We're supposed to convene in the round room today. Blech! Meetings. Round? Room? Yep, apparently the boss man's got some big news. Wanna head over there now? Okay. Alrighty then, follow me. So I haven't been touching on this at all, but we've learned a few things from this. I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt him. I mean, they're not. I am pleased to announce that a new comrade has been chosen to wear the coat. Number 14. Let us all welcome one of the key chosen memories wow oh, flashback within a flashback hmm anyway so we've learned a couple things um are they gonna let me okay good we've learned that Roxas's name is just Sora's name jumbled up with an X in the middle I think they covered that in two, but I'm not 100%. That's why I brought it up. And we have this new member who we don't know of in Kingdom Hearts 2, which is interesting. After seven days of clinging to a number and a name, I had trouble processing anything else. I couldn't have told you who the people in the black coats were or what they wanted with me. Day 8 the icing on the cake. Roxas, your work begins today. I will issue missions which the organization expects you to carry out. Think of these early missions as exercises. You have still have much to learn before we put you to a real test. Axel will be joining you your first time out. Isn't that right, Axel? Oh boy. What are you making me the kid's mentor now? Surely you don't mind showing Roxas here the ropes. Roxas, come see me when you're ready to go. <laughs> well, you heard the man. Starting today, I'm your babysitter. Yeesh! Quit acting like a zombie and let's get this show on the road. You know... Oh, hold on, I have more tutorials. This is how you save. Press start to open the main menu. And then you have saved. New entry added to Roxas's diary. Hey, let's read through Roxas's diary. This is the only time I'm going to do this on screen, I feel. Would that be in files? Yep. It's been a week since I got here. Syax told me to keep a diary, but he said nobody would check it. What am I supposed to write about? Today they told us to go to the round room where we met our new member, number 14. Was I like that when I first got here? I think I was. But I don't remember too well. 
Actually, no, I lied. We're going to be going through his diary. I forgot, these are actually personalized entries, unlike Jiminy's journal, which is just, you know, story, him writing a story. This is actually Roxas and his uh, feelings about the day. I mean, nobody's don't have feelings, according to, you know, the game, but again, I bring up my fragmented heart theory. Nobody's have to have emotions. If you're writing in a diary and you feel certain ways about certain things, logically you must have emotions, and a heart which causes emotions. Are you ready to go? Okay. Furthermore, the black robes they wear are supposed to protect your heart from being corrupted by the darkness. If they didn't have hearts, why on earth would they need the coats? I mean, I suppose you could just have them for the sake of having them, you know, to look cool, but that's their intended purpose of protecting hearts, traveling through corridors of darkness, but I digress. Teach him well, Axel. Don't worry, I'll be sure he, get, he, sure he makes the grade. Yeah, fumbled there. Come on, Roxas. Hey, what's wrong? Er, that was terrible inflection. I am sorry, that was awkward. <clears throat> hey, what's wrong? Are you worried about the new kid? What was that name again? Number 14. Shion. Right, I knew that. That's why I asked, obviously. I, I was testing you, Syax. Come on. Of course I remember her name. Why wouldn't I? Actually, can you even tell if it's a boy or a girl under there? I don't know why I assumed. I guess the lips and what little we saw of her face looks feminine. I I'm gonna go with female. Keep in mind, I have played the game before, but I expect the people in the comments not to spoil anything for people who have not. Shion. <laughs> Got it memorized, Roxas? Yeah. You sure? How about my name then? It's Axel. And our boss's name? Xemnas. Very good, Roxas! No way you're gonna forget his name, right? Now let's get moving! Oh, thank God. We've learned Roxas isn't brain damaged. Well, we've learned he's mostly not brain damaged. Ah, Twilight Town! I missed you. Welcome back to Twilight Town. Wonder when Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out. That thought just suddenly occurred to me. Because in the trailers that we- well, the little bit of gameplay we've seen showed Twilight Town. Alright, let's start by talking about what we do on missions. Welcome to Tutorial Mission. <clears throat> missions are... Uh, they're, you know, hmm. Axel, greatest teacher. He should get an award. You know what? Talking is dumb. Let's just go ahead and get our hands dirty, shall we? Follow me. B to jump, which is strange, but we'll go with it. Usually it's A. Grab ledges, otherwise out of reach. Press up on the D-pad while hanging to pull yourself up. Or press B again to drop down. Or you could use, you know, the circle pad, whichever works for you. I don't think it really matters. And I think this is our way back home. You cannot return yet. It? Yeah, I can use the circle bed too, no biggie. 
There you go. Good job. You're competent enough to jump and hold on to a ledge and then pull yourself up. Thanks. But don't go thinking you can just run and jump your way through every mission. You've got to be aware. What? What do you mean? You have to look around. Sometimes what you're after isn't sitting right under your nose. Got it memorized? Y yeah, I think so. Alright then, time for a road test. There's a treasure chest somewhere in these passages. I want you to find it. Did you place the treasure chest, or do you just know it's there and no one's gotten it yet? That's all I have to do? I know. Don't hurt yourself. Anyway, remember to look around. Press select to enter free look mode, then use the D-pad or circle pad to adjust the camera. Press any button other than the D-pad or circle pad or start to exit free look mode. You can also slide the stylus on the touchscreen to adjust the camera on the fly. Try it next time you need to look around. Easy. In fact, I'm using the- Whoa! That, uh... That went a little faster than I thought it would. I'm using the, uh, stylus right now. Okay. Let's see... Take that, box! You flipped the switch. I did it! I flipped a switch! I am the greatest. I only see the treasure chest from here. And I can't go that way because the stupid grates everywhere. Axel, what's this? A barricade. It means you're not supposed to go that this way. You mean there's nothing down there? Yeah, that's the gist of it. They're set up to keep us on task. That are out of trouble. I mean, hello, look at it. Big menacing X? I'll take the beaten path, thanks. Some areas are blocked off by barricades, as just shown to us. The organization uses these to close off areas unrelated to the mission. Because, you know, they don't want people like Demix running off and not doing the damn job. Which he would probably do without those barricades. In fact, these are probably set up because of him. Is this the chest? What, were you expecting a woman's chest, or a guy's chest, or... I mean, what did you expect to see when you heard chest, Roxas? Get your mind out of the gutter! Sure is! Well done! Oh, don't get too excited, Roxas. Um, what are you waiting for? The mission was to find the chest. Aren't I done? Uh... Roxas, there's this thing about chests. They have stuff in them. So, I should open the chest. Yes, that is generally what we do. My god, Roxas. I said you weren't brain dead, but maybe he is. Damn. Obvious explanation is obvious. Items you collect are stored in your backpack. To get your backpack, press X until the items command is selected, then press A. Items on the list can be discarded or, in the case of recovery items, used. Anything you throw away will appear on the screen and can be collected again. Alright, let's go open our first chest. This is so exciting! Hooray, a potion! We did it! I accomplished a simple mission of opening a box! Woo! Oh, also looking around and jumping. Good work! You can keep what you found. Oh, la. 
let me try that again. Good work! You can keep what you found! Alright, time to RTC. RTC? Return to the castle. Go ahead and head the way... Lead the way back to the dark corridor that brought us here. Wait, you mean we just leave those open all the time? What if someone just happens to stumble on into them? Do we murder them if they get into the castle? Probably. After a mission, you make your way back to the dark corridor and RTC return the castle. The corridor's location is displayed on the touchscreen map. Yeah, that's really the only reason we have the touchscreen at all for this game. I mean, it also has like a mission complete bar if you have multiple objectives that bar fills, which is useful, I suppose. But you know, while we walk back, let's just bask in the serenity of the Twilight Town theme. damn camera. Alright, time to get the hell out of here. Return to the castle? Yes. Bravo! So what do you think? Got the hang of this mission business? I mean, I don't think you'll have it in just one mission. I highly doubt all they're gonna have us do is collect treasure chests every mission. That would be silly. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, speak up. I couldn't quite catch that. I said... I could have done that blindfolded. <laughs> I don't know if I want a blindfolded zombie on the loose. Alright, smart Alec. You did good. And no successful mission is complete without a little icing on the cake. Come on. But, don't we have to RTC? <laughs> Later. Don't you remember our hangout? How do they even get up here? Here you go. The icing on the cake. You remember what this ice cream is called? Um... It's sea salt ice cream. Come on, I already told you once. Get it memorized, man! No, I made sea salt ice cream once. It's pretty good. I mean, we didn't get the, the balance just right, but it was... I still liked it. I could probably post a link to the recipe on here. I would just have to find it again. I think I have it on my old laptop. It's really salty, but sweet too. <laughs> Roxas, you say this. Uh, you said the same exact thing the other day. I did. I don't remember that. Hey. What has it been? A week since you showed up? Maybe. Maybe? Come on, you must remember that much. Well, that's okay. Today's where it all really begins anyway. Yeah? Sure! Here you are, out in the field, working for the organization. Today, you're one of us. 
I guess it's a start. I wonder how they find nobodies that just appear, like Roxas. See, we got a potion, a moonstone, a stunning gem. You can use this material to synthesize panels, which will come into play later. And we got a potion collected. Oh, these are rewards, duh. And that's our new item. All right. Close mission review? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got everything uh, we needed from that. That was my first day working for the organization. They gave me missions, and I carried them out. But if you asked me what my job was, I would have just stared at you. Day 9. Heartless. Roxas, today you will be working with Marluxia. Come see me when you're ready. Well, there you have it. Welcome to the fold, Roxas. Alright, with that, I think we'll be ending this episode here. In the next episode, we'll look through our diary entry and we'll move on to our next mission. See you guys then. Uh -huh.